What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Toonami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So we finally know what is coming up next for Global, thanks to the maintenance and the data miners and the data leaks or whatever that came up from the maintenance that was done over the past day. Uh, we now know what's coming up next. It is not Cooler. It's not Android 13. It is actually something different. And what's funny is I had just started thinking about this maybe a few hours before maintenance actually dropped. So let's take a look on Twitter and check out Kawhi, obviously. <laughs> when you want breaking news, you go to Kawhi. You don't go to anybody else. So Kawhi obviously did the data mining, graciously gave us all the information that we really need to know. We don't really need much more than this. But, I mean, I, I you can tell what it is just from looking at it, but let's go ahead and... And there you have it. God Ku LR. Dokkan, and Int Vegeta and Gohan Neo supports. <laughs> to even further validate this tweet, DBZ World. When you need confirmation of something that's coming up, you check Kawaii or you check DBZ World, and then you check the other reference just to make sure. There you go, it's confirmed. We are gonna be getting the LR Godku. It's actually not as strong a lead as I had originally thought, but let's take a look at his stats on the Dokkan Wiki. the LR Godku. So this guy is a pure Saiyans and a hybrid Saiyans lead. He plus four, 130%. So right there, if you're trying to convince yourself not to summon on this banner, let me do you a service, okay? I don't think you're gonna need it because if you've already set your mind to not summoning on this banner, this doesn't really apply to you, but we're gonna do it anyway. Why should you not summon on this? Well, for the reason right there, you're only getting a 130% boost on a hybrid Saiyans lead. Could have been more, but this isn't a complaint, by the way. This is me trying to help reinforce your feelings, your conviction that you're not going to be summoning on this banner. So, this guy's a pure Saiyans, hybrid Saiyans lead of 130%, yada, yada, yada. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to the enemy. Okay. Greatly raises attack and defense for three turns. That's unique. Causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. So, this guy has the potential to do some ridiculous damage after a couple turns of consecutive mega supers or ultra su What do you call it? Ultra super? Yeah. Attack plus 77%, key plus 1 up to 5, defense plus 11%, up to 55%. Per pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans ally, self excluded on the team, high chance of evading enemies attack, performing... Okay. It's kind of weird. Um, right off the bat, I'm not too impressed. Could it be that I'm just trying to psych myself out so that I don't have to worry about this banner? Maybe. But in all honesty, just from first glance, there are some great things, some unique things about this guy, but overall, it's not worth summoning for. So if you are on the fence, or if you're the type who just has to summon no matter what, I would strongly advise against it. If anything, do one or two, that's it. Because I think this is going to be a legendary summon, right? I don't even know if this is going to be a legendary banner or a whatever. It's, a, it's an LR, so probably a legendary summon. Let's also take a look at the two support units and what they look like now that they are TUR'd. Unfortunately, I don't have either one of these units, so I'm actually going to take a look at their pre-awakening uh, stats. So, Gohan, uh, Super Int, okay, 50, okay. Uh, int key plus 3, attack, that's uh, so 40%, okay. I'm assuming that's the same thing for Vegeta. Yes, it's the same, except Vegeta has a rare chance to stun. I don't think Gohan has that. Gohan raises his attack. So they're both, they're both forgettable units as uh, basic supports. But when they TUR... When they TUR, they become the brand new archetype. So this is the very first of the brand new archetype support units on Global. Key plus four, attack and defense and HP, 120% for extreme int units. This Vegeta is amazing. Raises attack, causes supreme damage to the enemy with a medium chance of setting the enemy. Even better. Int type, key plus three plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for extreme int type. Whoa! Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type Int excluded, two int key spheres, attack plus 20%, defense plus 20% per key. Wow. This is stupid. This is stupid. So I'm assuming with these guys showing up, we're probably also going to get a support int banner, where when you summon on it, you have, you have a chance of pulling these units, and you also get some orbs. I'm hoping that's what happens. I don't know what happened on JP. So let's take a look at Gohan and what he looks like when he TURs. Obviously, it's the same thing. Super int, but this time, you know, super. Key plus 4, 120% across the board. Cause supreme damage, raises attack and defense by 30% for 9 turns. Wow. 
in type key plus. Okay, so it's the exact same thing as the passive. Okay, so this is now the first of a new breed of super support units. Very nice, very nice. I really, really hope that I get another chance at summoning these because I don't have a single support unit in the entire... Out of all of the support units that are going to be fitting in this archetype, I only have one, and only one copy of him, and that's Tien. So I am in sore need of some massive, massive Neo support units. Hopefully I can get these guys. So if anything, I would recommend summoning on this banner, if there is one, the support int banner, but don't actually summon on the legendary banner. I myself will probably only do one or two because I'm on a real stone crisis kind of situation right now. I don't have too much and I gotta save up because I got some plans in the works. Hey, you very good! Well, let's take a look at the rest of this tweet. So Kawhi talks about Godku and the Neo supports. Then he also talks about this. Can you figure out what this means? Beerus ZTUR returns. So, from this, I mean, it's obviously, you're gonna have to think about it a little bit. Beerus ZTUR basically refers to Beerus EZA. So this TUR is coming back in a major way in the form of an EZA. This guy right here. So this guy is finally getting his EZA. A lot of people thought that this guy was gonna be showing up in tandem with the cooler banner and campaign. Because apparently that's what happened in JP. I could be wrong. But anyway, this guy is showing up on Global before that. So here is his information. Here's his pre-ZA stats. Tech, Int, and STR types. HP and attack plus 30%. Wow, that is so lame. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. High chance of attack plus 200%. Hey, that's just like uh, Champa. Well, that makes sense. They're both uh, rats. What? Rodents? Cats? Sorry. Whoa. When he EZAs, tech, int, and STR type, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Still pretty meh, but he's versatile. That's the that's one of the new builds that they're going for with these units. We had a similar situation with some of the Epic 7 EZAs, if you recall. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. He greatly lowers defense, so that's a 50% reduction. Very cool. His passive is where it's at. Worthy rivals, category allies, key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30%. Defense plus 100%. Holy crap, and a chance... Whoa! High chance for attack... Oh, that's awesome! And he is a worthy rivals, right? Yeah! So, on a good day, this dude would have 230% attack and 130% defense. <laughs> Whoa! So on a good day, this guy could have 230% attack and 130% defense. Holy crap, that is awesome! So that, presumably, is what this refers to. Actually, there's one more. Let's take a look. What is this? Beerus P-U-I? Beerus PUI takes its Z T U R on the way. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Beerus PUI. I'm I'm just gonna assume that this is just a follow-up to this, whereas it's just clarifying that Beerus's T U R is going to get more powerful because of an EZA. That's I'm just gonna go with that. So that is all the news that. Kawhi has provided as of yet there surely will be more but this this is really all we need to know because again this is not a full-fledged global campaign this is just a another calm before the storm I would assume I don't know how this happened in JP because again I don't pay much attention to what happens on JP as far as what events we get and all that good stuff unless it's something game-breaking huge ginormous news that I have to find out about I kind of like to be surprised so Lastly, let's take a look at the animations courtesy of DBZ World. gonna go ahead and skip this next one is just a basic kamehameha the tur is a super saiyan what does this one look like this one also looks pretty basic yeah it's a pretty basic one nothing too fancy but here's the good stuff what is this one space kamehameha
Was I seriously right? It's Space Kamehameha. Yep. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Once again, wind it back to the big picture. We have some other crazier banners in store. So let's put on our critical hats. That super attack was not that impressive. I'm purposely being like this just to help convince myself and some of you who might be on the fence about summoning on this banner. It's really not worth it. The unit itself is cool, not too cool. The animations are cool, but not too cool. There are much better ones that have happened before this one and are definitely gonna happen after this as you've seen all over JP. So that's basically it, guys. We now know what's coming up next on Global. Don't get uh, too excited, it's not cooler. But we are getting some stuff. We're getting some new TURs for the supports. So if you got those, then rejoice because you're about to get the brand new archetype on Global. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited for. Is it the Vegeta? Is it the Gohan? Is it the LR Godku? Are you actually gonna summon for the Godku? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future, and click that notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Do it. Thanks again, stay tuned, and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.